Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, and I appreciate the effort uh, by both sides of this committee to pass this uh, piece of uh, uh, unit bipartisan legislation by unanimous consent today. I think that's an indication of the way the committee should be working. Uh, but I want to join my colleagues in calling for a hearing on the American Energy Independence from Russia Act, which has been introduced uh, in part by the ranking member. Uh, this is what's front of mind for our constituents today the cost of energy in the United States, uh, particularly the cost of gasoline. The estimate is that inflation is causing the average family in America to spend an extra $5,000 this year uh, and an additional $2,000 on gasoline. And just to, to highlight the human cost of this, these are costs that are borne by people who are just trying to put food on the table for their families. Uh, I represent a large number of constituents who have to commute large distances to get to and from work every day. They don't have a choice as to whether or not they are going to buy gasoline. Uh, they're being forced to buy it. I had a town hall last night in which I heard some of the heartbreaking stories from constituents of mine about how they're struggling to meet this cost increase. And I struggled with how to tell my constituents that the problems that they're having have been directly caused by their own government. Uh, and it's, it's, a, it's a terrible thing to have to say, but we're facing a classic macroeconomic situation where we've got a supply and demand problem. Uh, demand for energy has picked up as we've emerged from the coronavirus pandemic. Supply has not. And the predominant reason why supply has not here in the United States is the, that uh, our government, our federal government, has declared a war on American energy. Uh, this has got to stop. And I think it can be stopped on a bipartisan basis. I think we all share a concern for uh, avoiding the increase on the reliance of fossil fuels. It's certainly something that, uh, that in this committee, Mr. Chairman, we all share. Uh, however, uh, I think it's also a misperception that solving this problem for uh, American consumers would result in uh, a dirtier environment. Mr. Chairman, we create energy here in the United States cleaner than any country on the planet. And by curtailing production here domestically, we are forcing consumers to increase reliance on foreign energy that is produced in a way that's worse for the environment than if it were to be produced here. Countries like Venezuela, uh, whose oil has a 50% greater life cycle greenhouse gas emissions than oil produced here. Countries like Russia that still flares their methane. Uh, the atmosphere does not care where these emissions occur. Uh, and by forcing them to occur overseas, not only are we increasing the cost to American consumers, which we are, not only are we decreasing our national security, which we are, but we're also making the planet dirtier because those emissions will be greater when that energy is produced. So Mr. Chairman, this is the House Natural Resources Committee. This is the appropriate committee to be discussing questions about whether we should exploit the natural resources here in our country. And I would urge that this committee have a bipartisan hearing on this topic because it's a topic that the American consumers expect us to be discussing and it's a topic I think uh, that, that in fairness to everybody and in equity to the bipartisan process that we're honoring here uh, that, that, we should, uh, that we should accomplish. So with that, Mr. Chair, I yield back.